Navajo Reservation. Ashe ya, Pastor Larry Harvey. Look at you down a shadow. Aro Shesta, Olonto, Shachindo, Aro Grandkids. I would a ya, Aro Kunza de Eya, she or Kat, Aro de Yubizad Yadne, Nishlego, a Kunza Hodges, a cohort. Dia Kondija. So it is good to be here today. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Larry Harvey of Lukachukai, Arizona, and uh, I've been a minister for quite some years and a pastor for 11 years uh, in a place called White Cone, Arizona. And uh, it's an, uh, an honor uh, to bring forth a, a message of, of God from the Holy Word uh, and to bring it out there uh, uh, to the people, the Navajo people. Because uh, these are the days that uh, you know, the, the Corona virus, the COVID-19 is about us, is upon our reservation and elsewhere all over the world. Just 
Ski so to Nilo, but our answer is this is how I, I see this to overcome this corona virus in our on our reservation. It is the word obedience. You know, as you read through the word of God from the beginning to the end, the word pops up here and there all over the, uh, the, the word of God. The obedience, the word obedience. In the beginning, Adam and Eve disobeyed and brought curses and um, sicknesses and disease and all kinds of uh, evil began to corrupt the world because of disobedience. And it was like that for thousands of years until Jesus, the Son of God, came to this world and as a man he walked under the eyes of his father in obedience the word obedience he took that to his heart he lived that kind of life obeying his father even on to the cross he obeyed his father unto death and with that obedience God his father honored that and was pleased and with that he caused his son to resurrect from the dead and overcame the power of evil the power of death was overcome and through the obedience of the son of god we have received the blessings of the lord and the promises of god and, and there's a scripture that I want to bring forth that is in the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 1 and 2 it says let every soul be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are appointed by God Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the death or ordinance of God. And those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Romans chapter 13. Not only, but not only, than Zeniki, Hanaj and Zeniki, Hakita Des Inki, Hanam Adam Zeniki, the Jesus Ado Nes. Ado did the Ohatni ye, the Nahas Tanibito ye, na Zeniki. A dot api, a deti lao, ye de kata. Did you mit Ade, eight eight, eh, be ordni? A coco, acheda. Did the ordni give it to scapego? Did you not do it to scapego, eh? A coco, did you mit to scapego? Did you get out a hot yaki? Be to zing coco, a hot to his date go at eight only. To know what car a couple even in Nago said a lot of so D or Dramadani Clinic in D. A little so I get a little ego later. You cannot on it and then eat a corner who count in and tie. There's on it, they let this needs on the letter which I don't need a couple. Oh, a yudi, a dawis abu, jikaya kokao, or clan, or when you do. A co, a dina, sa, sa, dina, when it teshing. De shedigin, but in slido shedigin, she gets into shakalia. 
You cannot test God. You cannot go out there and say, I know God is like this. I know I'm going to go out there. I know nothing's going to happen. And then you go out there and testing the Lord in that manner is wrong. If you need to go out there for a reason, for a purpose, yes, you can, but in a humble way. Let God be God and going out there with protection, even though, yes, you know that God is your protection above all. But then again, here on earth as a human, we still need to protect ourselves in a way that we need to. What's up, eh, Dante? Common sense. Be his demark or be da hotelia. A condition that that she need the whole chesha or she need by Nesha. I was a lattice to wish me, chill the shell. A hot ah, a da hashia. You know what? I do that because I care. I care for people. I care for my loved ones. I care for my grandkids. I take care of myself for them. Even in I don't say this like I hear from some of the uh, Christians. They say, I don't care if I catch the disease and if I die, then I'm going to heaven. I don't care whatever happens to me. You know, when you say that, you're selfish. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 and 23. There it says, So Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft mm. and stubbornness is as iniquity and adultery because he had rejected the word of the lord he also has rejected you from being a king but i beg mm-hmm. saul was told through the prophet Samuel, tell Saul to go and fight against the uh, Amalekites. Destroy all of them. Destroy everything that they have. Even the val- valuable stuff that they have, destroy it all. Mm-hmm. But this is what happened. They went out and they did, yes, destroy the people, the uh, Amalekites. But they took hold 
of, of, of the things that they, um, they possessed. They took the plunder. <coughs> and so, when, they, when Saul got back to Samuel, he was saying, you know what, I obeyed God. What God told me to do, we went out and did. We destroyed the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. But the people took the plunder, sheep, oxen, the best of the things which should have been utterly destroyed to sacrifice to the Lord your God in Gilgal. Mm -hmm. 
لكن هذا الناس تاعنا مش تكلام راه صا ثلاثة بانا مش تشرح لي أكوندي بعد أول نادا أو كاهون أو ولا سنتاش دوني أتسر أتسر أو نغانجي جهد آت إيو إبن النا كاهو تشني جوي آت إيو تو كاهو مش أون لا تشي عمش تشاشي خاو دوني أكوند ناهو داتي همن نال همش ناجي يا هم داد جاب صاند صلا هيك ده هدفنا ابن النار دوبتا. and I just want to say to all you young ones, teenagers, even young men and women across the reservation, please be in obedience. I want to tell you that I just lost my cousin three nights ago. She died of COVID-19 because her son that she was living with goes out drinking. He came back just way last week, two weeks ago, and stayed with his mother for a few days and left again, went out drinking again. As of today, we don't know where he's at. But ever since he left, my cousin got sick to the point where she, she couldn't take care of herself. And one of her sons came by and took her to the hospital and they diagnosed her with COVID-19. And it only took her another couple days in the hospital and she passed on. Some of you young ones are like that. You are stubborn. Mm. You are rebellious. Come on. And here the word of God says that you cannot be. Because if you're in rebellion, you, it's, it's like, it's compared with witchcraft. Witchcraft is something ugly. It's from the pit of hell. Mm. The iniquity and adultery. All that is from the pit of hell. If you're stubborn, and this is what happened to, to my cousin. You know, just daha, adult, just daha. The innocent, her life was taken because of a rebellious person, a stubborn man, young man, mm. disobedient. Yeah, what's that case still there? And I was hard to all you young ones. Obey, stay home, mm -hmm. stay home. Hey, they made your job, this didn't she did that. Get out of the house. 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 So, all I have to just because I'm a pastor, it's because I'm a minister, you know, nobody tells me what to do. That kind of an attitude, some ministers carry that. That's right. I don't know that. I think the Lord is teaching us something through this. Crisis here. God is showing us something. We should, even us ministers, we, we should sit down. We should go take a walk with the Lord and seek. Yeah, let's go deeper into what, what is there behind this, uh, this virus that is about us. Maybe there's something that we need to understand. There's something from God that we need to understand. Be still and know that I am God. Come to me. Seek. There is something that I want you to know. Seek me. Go deeper into me. Look into my word and pray. Let's talk about it. I will show you. 
That's what God is saying these days. There's something that we need to understand. Especially us, we should come, come before God on behalf of the reservation uh, Christians and non Christians, mm -hmm. asking God to forgive us. We need to repent as ministers on behalf of the people. We need to do that. We need to come closer to God. He's got something. He's got something for us. The only way we're gonna we're gonna receive is seeking. We go deeper. And we need to walk in obedience. With that, we have already won. Through obedience, our Lord Jesus, He's won all that is of the kingdom of God for yes. us. Through His obedience, all that is of God is ours. Just imagine that us walking in obedience, we can have what is of God, which is good health and prosperity. In all the goodness of God, they tried out of Chinadi Ka, I get out of the Edo. She did a Ebatsis kiss, she did not have anything. I hear her, she's not on open shandy, but oh, you give us a ring, it's an honor to encourage you. Stay strong and pray and love one another. You know, I was thinking the other day. My kids come, come over almost every evening and on weekends. They stay with us over the weekend. And I was thinking, wow, this, there's something good that is happening too also through this coronavirus. Right. It's bringing the family together even closer, loving one another, loving each other even more than before. Thank you very much. Lord, my God, Heavenly Father. We come before you today in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names. We come to you in repentance. We come to you, we ask you to forgive us. If there, if there are things that we need to, to understand, if there are some things that we need to, we need to bring to you, maybe there are some things that we're, that we're doing wrong, Although we think that we're, we're okay, just as, as Saul had said to Samuel, I, I did what, what I was supposed to do. Yes, you destroyed the Amalekites, but you, I, the thing that I told you is, is that I needed you to destroy all the belongings that they had, but you plundered. You did, you brought it to yourself, you brought it home. That's where you did wrong. We think we sometimes we're, we're doing okay. What I'm doing is right, but there's some wrong things in our lives here and there. Maybe there's some, something that we really did make, made a mistake somewhere. But forgive us. Today we ask you to forgive us. Yes, Father Lord, we lay all this down at your, at your altar, at your feet. Yes, at, at the grace of God, at the mercy of the Lord, we bring it to you. Good life and happy life. Open that to us again. Bless us again, Father. Dear teaching God, 
Besuda del Zendone, Nebejo Pa Ado Berzona, your grace, your love, your mercy is bigger than the universe. And we claim that into our lives today. And we thank you so far that you've taken care of us and making sure that we're all, all okay. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for causing us to go even more deeper into you and all the things that you are. But I, DJ Lord, bless each and every one of my brothers and sisters out there by each and let it sit down deep into their spirit and let them walk with it in obedience of you and let them be blessed with that. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We pray for our Navajo Nation president yes, and the vice president and all workers that are working with mm -hmm. Father, we ask you to bless the Navajo Nation mm -hmm. all the way down to our chapters, chapter presidents. We thank you, bless them, Father. We thank you for not Ayeda Naza, not Anida, Yeo, Skelp, Zero, not Astinto, Njibin Naza, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Worthy is the Lamb.